Well, you know, you may have noticed for the past two months or so that a popular butter is missing from store shelves. There's a good reason. The company is one of many that has been phasing out a widely used chemical that's been found to be toxic from its wrapping. And as health reporter Stephanie Stahl explains, many other companies are doing the same. It's as natural as the day my great grandfather made the butter. Irish so, yeah. Kerrygold butter is prized by many consumers for its grass fed goodness. But what consumers may not have realized that grease resistant wrapper contains PER or polyfluoral alkyl carbons, PFAS for short, a toxic artificial chemical. They last forever. They're called the forever chemicals because they're very persistent. University of Notre Dame biochemist Graham Peasley co authored studies on PFAS. His team uses a special particle accelerator to test fluorine levels in products. They are used in over 1,600 different industrial processes and products. They make Teflon pans non-sticky. They make clothing waterproof. They make packaging waterproof. In late 2022, Kerrygold stopped restocking its foil-wrapped butter to retool its packaging for California and New York ahead of new state PFAS laws. The company provided a statement that reads in part, we will continue to ensure packaging for our products remains compliant with all relevant state legislation and regulatory requirements. Kerrygold's butter wrapping is not linked to bad health outcomes, but PFAS in general have been linked to certain cancers and other health dangers like high cholesterol and preeclampsia in those who are pregnant. We've since discovered that all these PFAS are immune suppressants. So they suppress your immune system. And that means any opportunistic disease, including some types of cancer, could take over. 11 states, including Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, now have rules either banning or reducing PFAS levels in items ranging from carpets, clothing, and cosmetics to food wrappers and containers. Many companies have voluntarily removed intentionally added PFAS from their products or packaging. The site PFAS Central by scientists at the Green Policy Institute lists dozens of companies with PFAS-free products, including Clean at Sephora, IKEA, H&M, and Chick-fil-A food packaging. The big companies have pledged to phase out uh, by 2025, and the smaller companies are already doing it. Peasley says they're hard to come by, but consumers should start looking for labels that say no PFAS. Now, Kerrygold said it is, its popular butter is now returning to store shelves with its updated packaging. I know two Gosh. people who are going to be happy about that. I you are know. big fans I'm, of this yeah, butter. Yeah, huge Reach fan. I'm relief. mortified. Okay, okay, well, clearly I will. Yes, new right. packaging will be okay. All right, we'll be okay. Thank you for the update. Thank you very much. Appreciate it as always.